Hey gents, today we're going to talk about storing your clothing because once you start buying nicer, better products, you need to take care of them that way. And especially like me, uh, if you've spent the last couple of years losing any of your stuff to the moths and bugs that end up coming in there. Uh, this video is as much an education and a learning and a reminder for me to do this. Uh, and part of this whole channel is to bring you along with me in that process. So this hole right here, let's see if I can get a good shot of it, is devastating to find in your sweater uh, at the end of a season. I actually have a couple in here, and that's what you get when you don't properly store your clothes, or like me, you just wishfully think that if you store it like pretty good, then it'll be fine. When you have a sweater of you know cashmere or wool, this kind of stuff tends to happen. Despite your best practices, like I had it right over in my studio here in a dry place, and there's generally not a lot of bugs in here, but if you don't take the proper precautions, this is how you end up losing the really nice things that you own. So since spring is in the air and I had to order stuff for myself anyway, I wanna talk about some of the research that I've gone into and how to best store your winter clothes so you don't end up losing sweaters as I have in the past. Because this is a great example. This is the Donegal wool sweater from American Trench. I've been loving it this year. It's my first year I've had it, just picked it up, and if I pull this out of storage in the fall, I'm going to be very angry that there's a little hole in it because I have repaired them in the past and you can do that, but it ends up being pretty tough to really hide well. Um, and so let's talk about the best practices for storing your clothing for the winter. Number one, you want to store it cool, dry, and clean. Not just the garment, but also the location. So this uh, wool trench coat that I've been wearing, this is my Oliver Wicks one from their Baltoli collection. This will get dry cleaned and then stored. Now, storage is also another critical one. If you have a wet basement, avoid that, any kind of smelly place. I mean, this is a lot of logical stuff, but even in my upstairs closet where I keep a lot of this stuff, it is very dry, very cool in the summer, but that's where I was losing some of my wool jackets and sweaters because even then, bugs can still get in there. And so you do wanna store it warm and dry. You also want to avoid the plastic dry cleaning bags that will end up retaining moisture if you do store them in that way. You can get something, this is the one that I picked up from the hanger project, and this garment bag can actually hold, I think, six garments in here. It is cloth, so it can end up breathing, but it will store and keep you know, the dust away from it and keep it relatively clean. And then to take it a step further, you can use some kind of mothballs, but cedar planks work really well for this, or some kind of cedar chips, because this is a natural way to repel bugs and also keep a nice, fresh smell in there. So I grabbed this eight pack of cedar planks so that I can put a couple of these in my garment bags, and then I'll show you the crates that I grabbed for the sweaters too. And this is a good example of the rotation, right? So you got your garment bag. I just pulled out the my spring and summer suits, so my seersucker suit, linen suit, and a couple others in different bags. And so yeah, before you put these away, you dust them off, you dry clean them. You wanna make sure they're put away nice and clean, and then they can come out looking fresh for the next season. And what I've also been hanging up, I have a couple of these. These are cedar hangers that will go. I even just put these in my regular closet, but having these, to either be hung up alongside the garments, you can put those cedar planks down at the bottom. All the stuff in this video I grabbed from Woodlore. I toured their factory a few months ago and I got to see firsthand that they're using like American trees, American manufacturing, a lot of this stuff. This video is not sponsored, it's just, I think one of the best places to go. Because I've definitely seen some synthetic stuff. You can buy synthetic sprays or these things you can put in your closet, but the natural wood and fibers on these is amazing. And it's just like shoe trees, right? After like a year or so, this won't be as potent of a smell, but because it's this natural material, you can sand off the top layers around it. It's just like they're shoe trees and reactivate the natural properties of the cedar. So these have been the things that have saved my products before, but now uh, I'll show you the solution for my sweaters. So garment bags, hanging, dry cleaning, all that stuff is very important on the jacket and suit side of things. But then for sweaters, I've always done the rotation, right? You get rid of the stuff in the spring that you didn't really wear last winter, you donate it, and then you store them. I used to put them in some boxes and I would even just put them on you know certain parts of the shelf and that's where one of these planks would really come in handy if you put this like you know around or in between the sweaters keep the plank somewhere near there but what I wanted to do this year is take it a step further they make these crates so you could grab a crate and then I'm still figuring out if I should put this inside of a box so put the sweaters into the crate then put these in here or, you know, the way that these stack up, I'm thinking I'm just gonna put them, you know, my basement's very dry and, and very cool. 
And so I'm thinking I'll just stack them up and have them in the open air in the basement. You know, I'd say I lost one sweater every season or so, but as I start getting nicer, nicer sweaters, I don't wanna lose any of them. So that's why I'm using these crates, the planks, to make sure all the things that I'm trying to buy for multiple seasons actually last multiple seasons. There's also the side benefit that all of the cedar stuff just smells so good. And uh, having more cedar in the house definitely can't hurt. So that is how I'm gonna be storing my stuff this winter. Uh, my plan is to lose none of it, which would be nice. It seems like the whole summer spring wardrobe rotation is very regional, but also very US centric. Like we just have a lot of stuff here. So we have to like put some stuff in the attic or in the basement and then, and then rotate it around. And so interested to hear what your solutions are for this sort of stuff. A minimalist wardrobe is definitely the way to go. And I was really impressed with the range of products that Woodlore offers, whether it's sock or tie storage, but then also, you know, these big crates. And so this pack of cedar planks is like $14 uh, for eight of them, or you have the, the big, you know, cedar plank solution. I think these are 20 bucks. Uh, each on there. I just grabbed a few of those so I can store all my nice stuff. So love to hear from you guys down in the comments as always. And I'll see, also see you over on Instagram at the underscore Cavalier. This is another one of these videos that I had been planning to do for the past couple of years and finally uh, getting in there and doing it. So I hope you like the new schedule. Let me know all of your feedback as always. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. This is one of those videos that I like wish you guys could smell. Like the grate itself. I want my bed. I wanna keep all my clothes. I wanna keep, uh, I would make a bed out of cedar. It's strong. Mm, it's good stuff.